All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, and here, coming at you, book with part two of my August 2015 update. Ooh. So yeah, um, this is just gonna be a short little video, uh, letting you guys know basically what's been going on with me lately, and all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, I'm still, still here in Yokosuka, Japan. But I thought you were getting out on August 7th. Why are you still here, Andy? Good question, audience. <laughs> So, um, basically, what had happened was, um, I originally thought that August 7th was my, uh, fly-out date, and, uh, turns out when, uh, I got to talking to admin, that was just my, like, due date for giving my paperwork and everything, so I was like, <laughs> they got me all rushed around for pretty much nothing, <laughs> really, because I already had my paperwork already done, so I was just like, the crap because I was like worried about um, you know getting a pack out date and all this other stuff taken care of before I head back home so um, yeah <laughs> so um, as of this recording um, I've already submitted all my paperwork um, it's, my separation package has been routed up through the chain of command um, just need two more signatures from you know two big powers that be and uh, once that's done, I'll get my page 13 uh, properly corrected and everything, sign it, send it off to PSD, which is the uh, processing uh, facility for you know, processing me out of the Navy. And then once they give their little blessing and stuff, then uh, send it back to me with uh, orders to outprocess at either San Diego or Washington State. Most likely Washington State, that's where they've been sending uh, people lately, so that's just what I've noticed. So um, I'll be there uh, for about seven to ten days doing the out processing thing, things like that. So yeah, and then from there back home, and then from home to college, hopefully. But uh, it is getting you know kind of late in the month, so um, there is a strong possibility that I might have to uh, push a semester. Uh, before I can start college, so I might actually end up starting uh, my college time at Western Michigan up in Kalamazoo um, uh, for spring semester. So it would be January of 2016 as opposed to, you know, September 2015. So um, I'm not officially calling it yet because, uh, you know, I'm still holding out hope that, you know, I might be able to make it in time, but. Uh, Right now, it's, uh, it's looking very unlikely I'll be able to start uh, in the fall as originally planned. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm continuing to look for houses and cars and things like that. So um, hopefully I can get something arranged. And you know, even if, uh, even if I don't end up going this semester, you know, waiting till next semester may not be so bad, you know, I'll have more time to, you know, not only get reacclimated to civilian life, but I'll also have, you know, more time to find a place, find a car, so I'm not scrambling around, you know, I gotta get a car because, you know, you know school's coming up and I gotta get a place because school's coming up and then, you know, I gotta hurry, you know. <laughs> so I, I don't want to get too desperate involved, involving stuff like that. So, um, it may be best to wait, who knows. But uh, we'll see what happens. But that's basically where I'm at right now. Um, I'll keep you guys uh, posted with further updates, you know, once I get, you know, more word. Um, please, you know, if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, at TheAndySan, uh, for more frequent updates. I tend to update there a lot, you know, not only for Instagram stuff, but, you know, for when my videos come out and just other random life updates and things like that. So, be the first to know. And uh, as far as YouTube -y stuff goes, um, I got one video already waiting to be sent out, and it's actually going to be up um, the day after this video comes out. So um, it's my visit to the Yokosuka Port Market, which is kind of like a basic Japanese market that's more like uh, like a sea market, like a fish market basically, but it has some other things in it too. It's kind of a, a mixture between like a regular supermarket and a fish market. It's, it's pretty interesting. I think you guys will like it. So um, can't wait to get that out. And uh, as far as making more videos, um, I definitely want to do, you know, some more videos before I end up, you know, eventually leaving here. 
you know, I definitely want to go back up to Tokyo and uh, record some stuff, do some things, you know, record videos that I've wanted to record, you know, since I got here. But, you know, for one reason or another, just never got around to doing it, you know, so. Uh, just look forward to more stuff like that before I finally do end up, you know, heading on out. And um, also, you know, I am going to be continuing to record and you know, want to get back to the States as well. Just because, you know, I'm not in Japan doesn't mean there's nothing interesting to be had out in Michigan or anywhere else in America, you know. Um, one of the best uh, lessons that I got from YouTube is from uh, my friend Kurt Bell, also known as Softy Papa Online is that um, when I was stuck doing YouTube videos a long, long time ago, many years back, before I came out to Japan, way before I, I came out to Japan, I was stuck and I put out a little video asking, you know, hey, what should I do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to talk about. My life isn't really all that interesting. The area that I live at is, you know, bumfuck Egypt. There's really nothing to talk about here. And, um... Kurt sent a message to me privately on YouTube, and he may have commented, it's it's been a couple years, I don't remember offhand, but he, he mentioned that, uh, you know, just because you've been living in this area, you're used to all these things, so they're not very interesting to you. So, um, for somebody who hasn't, you know, lived where you've lived, and stuff like that, it may be very interesting to them to see how, you know, American life is, how Ohio life is, you know, some of the landmarks in your hometown may be interesting to them and stuff like that. So I'm, I was kind of skeptical about the idea at first, but then I started, you know, doing a couple videos around my hometown showing some landmarks, you know, like the lighthouse and the lake and, you know, stuff like that. And uh, it kind of caught on with me because, you know, it was kind of, you know, in the style of J vlogs at the time, which is basically showing off, you know, landmarks in Japan. You know, it's like, hey guys, I'm at this temple, or hey guys, I'm at this place, and stuff like that, except you were doing it in your hometown. So, um, there's that. So, um, for those of you who, you know, have come out to Japan doing the J-Vlog thing and stuff like that, and then if you're eventually faced with the, you know, reality of going back to your home country, wherever it may be, you know, and you're thinking, well, you know, my home country isn't really all that interesting. There's really not a whole lot to talk about. It's just kind of ho-hum, whatever. You know, it may be ho-hum to you because you're used to it and you grew up there. But for somebody like me or other people who've never seen the country or never seen your town or your state or wherever you live, you know, it may be very interesting and, you know, <laughs> just my two cents on the matter. So, you know, just... Keep on making videos. Keep on making fun, interesting videos. Don't quit. And with that said, this is the Andy Song. Sign up for now. Thanking you guys for tuning into this video and watching my other stuff. And I also want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending your friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.